Pearl Tutorial Part 54 CGI.PM Creating Tables on the Fly I've got my script prepared again in a simple format with the title CGI.PM Tables Now if you set up your script like so we will create some tables with CGI.PM To start our table, we use the start table function. So and now we can put our table attributes inside a pair of curly brackets so with the 400 and a border of 1 Now let's put in a table row. We use the start tr function. Now very importantly the t must be a capital. So that's how we begin our table row. And now we'll start a table cell. So we'll just indent this slightly. with the start td function ok so then we can put in our attributes so let's say a width of 200 and we will align to the center now for the text inside the cell we can place that in quotes and now to end our table cell like that okay so now let's copy this whole table cell to make a second table cell and now we use the end tr function to end our row and now we use the end table function to end our table like so now let's save the script and run this in the browser and here's our table Now let's create one more table row. So let's start a row. And one whole cell down to this new table row.
and an end row tag. Now let's create an attribute col span equals two alignment to the right and how about BG color of red and we'll call this cell 3 so let's save this and run it and here we have our finished table now let's have a look at this in the command prompt and have a look at the source code we get a nicely formatted table border 1 with the 400 our first table row with two cells in it each aligned in the center with a width of 200 a new row a background color of red aligned to the right in a column span of 2 and that's cell 3 our closing row tag and our closing table tag so that's how to create tables on the fly with CGI.PM and we will continue exploring CGI.PM in the next tutorial.